So it is you, a demigod in the soot and shit streets of Corinth, killing my men, helping those fucking parasites? That's me. Ah, arrogant. Just like your mother. Never rule these streets, you pig! Oh, you bet your pretty face I will! Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off and send it to the cult as proof! When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head! Themos will wish she was watching this. Not if I bring her yours first. Get the fuck out of my city! It's not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets!
You're just making... <laughs> I wish I could have been there to watch Thebos break your neck. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Wait! No! The people of Corinth must see him die! Anthusa! Take him out of here and bring him to the theater! Show everyone his cowardice! <sighs> Fine. Lead the way. To the theater, for all to see him as he really is. People of Corinth, behold the weasel that steals your bread. The scourge that spoils your crops. Demos would be disappointed in you. <laughs> she is dead! It's time. Soak in your victory, then meet me somewhere quiet. I'll tell you all I know about your mother. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. There is more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Gorin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps on the surface, but she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her, sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father think of that. I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she'd left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Did she find work? She kept to herself, with one eye always on the court. She could have stayed with us. But I think she was looking for something else. Was there no mention of her past? A husband? A family? Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tihi owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Althusa. May the gods look well upon you, Alexios. Visit me any time. I'll catch you up on Gordon's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Siren Song. If I can find someone who knows the ship, I'll be one step closer to finding her.
I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia. Λόκο τον ταμάλα. Σπράξη, σου έγνω. Υποκράτης! It's good you're here. Is it? Look around you. Athens is dying. What do you think is going on? I don't know. What I do know is that it kills without discrimination. Rich, poor, philosopher or farmer. And I'm helpless to stop it. What's happening to the victims? Leaking, postulant rashes, raging fevers, pallid, sweaty skin. I find many dying in their own excrement. Is there nothing that can be done? I try and ease the suffering where I can. The plague is spreading through the victim's excretions. I'm sure of it. The bodies must be burned. Your compassion for the people has always inspired me. Unfortunately, compassion is all I have to give. The gods have shown me how ardent I had become. We're only mortal, and the gods like to remind us whenever they can. 
I need help burning the bodies, Alexios. Fanatics are roaming the streets trying to stop me in my work. What fanatics? The followers of Ares. Superstitious fools. They believe burning the dead is sacrilege and attacked me. Can you believe it? These followers of Ares don't worry me. I'll help burn the bodies. Alexios, you're back. Got to run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at the Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Friends, I know you're angry, and you have the right to be. Why do they hide in their houses and not quell the chaos that come to Athens? Understand? Pericles is a sick man. Don't blame him for what? Blame him for bringing this curse that creeps our once great city. We are Athenians. We settle our disputes democratically. But there comes a time when words are not enough, and the people must take action. Athens' name was once held high in the world. Now, what has it become? Let's return Athens to greatness. We will be feared again. Raise your voices! I promise you, you won't be ignored any longer! I didn't expect to see you. What do you think you're doing? You're driving this mob to madness. This, this is nothing! I will make Athens great again! Aspasia. Oh, Alexios. You've returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's as loud as a battlefield out there, and as violent. They're calling for Pericles' head, as though he should know how to handle this catastrophe. No one is prepared for the end of the world. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother, her name, her ship. Alexios, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. The reason I came back to Athens was to talk to you about Mirini. Your mother will live to see tomorrow. My love won't live to see another sunset. You've had many sunsets with him. I've spent all my nights alone. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. I told 
told you? It's Alexios. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. I admit, you don't quite look yourself. I don't feel like myself either. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. <sighs> ah. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. Its people... Aspasia? No! You haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. The gods definitely aren't in Athens. I hardly recognize it here. It's like the Tartarus. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. We need the god's blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Alexios. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about the ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here.
Realistic, you can't do that. Oh, you're not going to be able to do that. 